and today I'm gonna be telling you how to do Cinema 4D render, like this render right here. So it's gonna be pretty high quality, and basically can customize everything. So basically, what you first want to do is get Cinema 4D, and as you can see, I have Studio R14. Next, you want to get a decent looking rig, and I found this free rig online that you can get. So it's a Steve rig, so as you can see, it loads up a Steve. And then after that, you want to get a grayscale gorilla lighting kit, and description will be down below. So basically, what this does is make it more HD. Okay, I'm gonna load that stuff up. Okay. So as you can see, there is a lot of light here. Just want to zoom in here. Set this up. So in case you didn't know, this, these three buttons are, this is to turn, this is to move around, and this is to go out and in. So those are the three basic buttons that you need to know about. So the first thing you probably are wondering is how to move his arms. And that can be done by clicking these, this over here, and you can move it up or down and just turn it around and stuff. And if you move it a little back here, you can see it tilts it, so that provides a window full of opportunities. So um, this is to scale, which is make bigger, see so you can make his arm really big or small which I don't recommend doing because it kind of looks weird. And this is to turn, you can turn his arm around, but that's really awkward as well. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do a render like this, this style, and also a weapon style. So to make this type of render, we got here, you wanna turn the arm, so basically, well, you see this? If we turn it around, then we can get hands on the shoulders. So you want to click this, turn it around, like I said. Select this tool to move, and you can see we get his hands on his hips. Um, so then you want to do this, turn it around. And move it up. Also, we're going to change your view a little bit. Make it in the middle. And I'm just going to use the Steve skin for this specific render. So, I'm going to make it a little bit closer. And close on. Okay. There we go. So next, the most important thing is to do your facial expression. So basically, this is the second layer. So if you have like headphones or a crown, this is what I have. Um, it will be added on. Also, these are face expressions. So if you have a skin and it doesn't work well with the rig, you can always edit it. But if you're too lazy, you can just uncheck this box, and your facial there will be no more facial expressions. And here's a custom skin. You can import a skin if you want, but I'm not gonna do one today. So you can change your eye color here. There's a little pop-up menu. And then here we go. Um, as you can see, we have options and settings. So I personally like to tinker around with the mouth. Do Just for today, I'm gonna do this smile like this uh-huh and in case you want to make his smile really large that kind of looks weird um, you can do that if you want you can also control with his teeth but i don't recommend doing that that looks really weird so just 
do a little loading opening right there and then we can move on so here we go oh i forgot to do his eyebrows so here we can do eyebrow rotation just gonna make it like this this make it really random that. okay that looks pretty good Okay, next, the most important thing is your render, render settings. So if you have a good computer, totally recommend this 1920 by 1080. And that's what you wanna get, save. For a translucent background for thumbnails and others, you wanna go to save, go to format, hit PNG. And then you want to hit alpha channel, that's um, very important. Next you want to click effect, click ambient occlusion, click evaluate transparency. Basically what that does is um, makes transparency on the skin. And then you want to click global illumination. And don't take your around with any of these settings right here. So uh -huh. after you adjust your settings, you just want to adjust the camera a bit and we can watch this thing render so i'm just gonna hit shift r zoom out and as you can see it becomes all gray and it's gonna be coloring the image so it's probably gonna take a long time like um about one minute or a minute and 30 and with more complex skins you'll get probably two minutes so and you can see a render coming through. And as you can see, the eyebrows look pretty good. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna stop the recording right now and we'll see when it's finished. Okay guys, so basically this render is done and it looks pretty pretty good so um if you want to save this you can always hit the save button and it says saved current project with a specified name and or you can just do command shift s so here we have the save menu i'm going to click png right here and make sure alpha channel is selected then you can just save it here as render Steve. And there we go. And as you can see, translucent background and high quality. So, next, what we want to do is make him have weapons. So, I'm gonna delete this Steve rig and load another one. Here we go. And bam. So he got a reset, and what I'm gonna do is move it, just a t tilt it a tiny bit. Don't you don't want to tilt it too much, so it's not as much work when you're doing render. Then you can move this, let's say like that. Okay, it's good. And if I probably haven't mentioned this before, but like always you can always move the feet like that and i just like to move it up a little like that and then do that so looks pretty good and i'm and also if you want to add items such as a pickaxe sword an axe then you got to get weed lions um item pack description down below and you can add items to your Minecraft render. So this is also a rig, and you just load this up. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing an iron pickaxe. So as you can see, it's not gonna be really cool just at this moment, but you'll have to, the bummer is that you'll have to move it by yourself manually. So,
make his facial expressions again and move this and move this. Um, rotate this a bit. Here we go. Looks like he's sort of mad, but when I do this, it looks happy. So I'm just going to do a little off to the right and make it yeah, a little bit open. Uh, that's all we really need to do right now. Okay, so remember, choose the same rating, render settings and you can always just um, <clears throat> save this render settings. So. Here we go. I was wondering why that. Okay, so here we can put a name, and I'm just gonna name it Minecraft Render Settings. Here we go. And yeah, we're done with that. And if you ever want to look at my render settings again, you can just pause the video. So, gonna make it like that, and we're gonna hit render. See how this comes out? <coughs> So I'll pause the video and we can skip straight to when it's done. Yeah, so basically this is a render and as I, as you can see I added this pickaxe. So that covers everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, let's just save this. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna make a folder called Steve Renders. Just make a whole series of Steve renders. Um, and I'm just gonna save in here. And yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this different Cinema 4D tutorial. And yeah, shock sign now.